someone humiliated me. No. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Sears just randomly sent me a twenty dollar gift card for no reason. Um, at first I was angry because I was I thought that uh, Sears owned Kmart or something, and instead of sending me the sixteen hundred Microsoft points they owe me for buying Homefront. Uh, I just got a Sears gift card, but I don't think that's it after doing some research. So, Sears. What the fuck am I going to buy at Sears for $20? Is there anything? I mean, they sell, like, refrigerators. I don't know. Anyway, this is Samuel Rambles. Woo! And uh, I have a lot to talk about. Um, a lot of new stuff has happened in the gaming, my personal gaming life. Uh, not really much in the gaming world. I noticed that a lot of PlayStation fanboys here on YouTube are actually taking a April Fool's joke so seriously, it's funny. Um, I love April Fool's. I hate it and love it, because I fell for some stuff too on Twitter. I thought someone got married, I thought someone got pregnant, but then I realized, oh, it's April Fool's. Um, but at the same time, I think it's hilarious. There, there's, a, there's a website that published an article that the PS3 has outsold the Xbox 360, and it, it's made its route through YouTube and N4G and all this other shit. And the thing is, is it's, a, it's an obvious April Fool's article. Simply because they understood how much the 360 sold. And they overstated what the PS3 sold. And it's an obvious, like, it's such an obvious thing. And I missed it before because me and Zephyrnix were talking about it. Like, what the fuck are they talking about? But then later on during the day, I realized it when... Uh, Little Fallout game, aka Rage, um, one of the Fallout websites posted that and it woke me up. It's April Fools. I don't know what the, what it is with websites this year, but they even did. They've been putting up April Fools jokes for like two days now. Uh, why don't you just do it on the actual day? Love the 1911 thing. It, it'll probably make this video more entertaining if you click that button down there. If you're watching this, if you don't know what that is, uh, basically it puts the whole video in sepia tone and then it starts playing a 1911 jingle. It'll be gone by some of the, by the time most of you actually see this video because for some reason my SRs always start off slow, but then like in the days to come they always build up momentum. So what have I been playing? Halo Reach, Crisis 2. I'm going to make a separate video on this, and I'll elaborate that in a second. And Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, or AC Broho. And, uh, you know, AC Broho is a great game for multiplayer. I don't know if I would be interested in the single player. I mean, I played through, like, a fourth of the first one. Wasn't really interested. I mean, it's, it's, it's an interesting series, but I'm not interested in the lure. I think the whole Animus thing kills it for me. I would love for it to just be an old-fashioned medieval game. Just cut the whole fucking Animus thing out, and to me, it would be like 800 times more interesting. But, no. They, this The Animus crap ruins it for me. So, yeah. Now, if you haven't downloaded the Amazon App Store for your Android phone, you should go do it if you have an Android phone. And that leads me into my next thing. Um... I've decided to do news articles and a couple of different non-review, non-achievement guide videos for this site called The Game Fanatics. I also was on their G-Spot podcast that, that was coming up soon, and I'll plug that in a later SR. So, a lot of people have been wondering if I'm leaving Freeze Cracker or something. No, I'm not. Freeze Cracker will always be my home. I love the site. I love the forums. I love the community. And as long as Jeff lets me post on there, fuck, I will post on there. I love that fucking website. And the thing is, is that I just wanted to spread out my content a little more, get my name out there a little bit more. And GameFanax is a really popular website. So I decided, you know, if I put some content up for them, that, you know, it will be mutually beneficial for me and them because uh, my Android app thing got, like, a lot of views and comments and stuff not comments but like just a lot of people talking it's interesting because i also included the fact that apple is suing them for some stupid fucking reason ah <laughs> i love april fools though i really do because people are falling for so much shit especially that playstation 3 outselling xbox 360 article did i even did i repeat that i don't know even know i've had to retake this video because like an idiot I'm, i record all my videos at five or six in the morning four o'clock in the morning because I'm insane, all right? I'm absolutely fucking insane. And the thing is is that also a lot of my friends 
because of weird things. Like they're still in high school, and uh, if not, if they're not in high school, they have a job during the day. I'm the only motherfucker who has night school. All right, so basically, I schedule all my days around night school. I wake up, I go to bed in about an hour or two, and I wake up around twelve. So I go to bed like at seven o'clock in the morning. Wake up around twelve. And then my day starts. Um, usually hang out here, play some video games. Sometimes go to a uh, town with Clifford. Sometimes just, you know, relax, do homework. And then I go to class. And then after that, I hang out with friends. Or I play video games. Or whatever the hell is going on. Because my friends are really fucking busy. <laughs> I don't even know. People are busy around here. You, even though there's nothing to fucking... I have no idea how they're busy because there's nothing to fucking do around here. We have two gas stations and two casinos for fuck's sake. But people manage to keep busy. And I really wish I had that initiative and I really wish I had the ability to keep myself that fucking busy. But there's no fucking jobs here. So... I spend my time playing Crisis 2 masochistly with the veteran setting and talking to people on Skype when no one's around. So, yeah, Halo Reach has <laughs> unveiled a new title update. If you haven't seen it, it's the classic stuff. They added a new classic playlist. Adrian is fucking jizzing all over that shit because he is a huge fan. Maybe this will even get M4 to come back to Halo because M4 Custom hates fucking Halo Reach. I don't even know why. I personally think it's the best Halo, but he fucking hates it. So, maybe this classic mode will entice him to come back to the game. Because it plays like Halo 2. They adjusted everything. They even brought back old maps. And it's it's a really interesting flow. The only problem is, is that it has Forge World. The only thing wrong with Forge World is just the stupidity of how every map looks the fucking same. Because it has that gray and blue tint bullshit. I mean, when Bungie announced you could change colors, I figured people would use them. Or are they? I don't know. It's a weird, weird situation. I don't know. I've never really tried to change colors in Four Worlds. I, I bet you can't even change that shit because people would be doing that. So, come on, Bungie. Make more color options because that gray... It makes it look ugly as shit, honestly. Everything being gray and blue because you have the blue Forge World sky with no clouds in it. And then you have the grayness of these gritty blocks. Ugh. But I digress. Um, there's They also add a new mode, which is like, it's weird. All right. What people don't understand about Halo is that it's the little big planet of shooters, all right? The, the regular mode is incredibly fun and balanced, but it also has the awesome, awesome shit that is an action stack. And they made this awesome little game where it has like, a, you know those carnival games where you... You roll the fucking ball. It's like mini bowling or some shit. And you try to hit it in the hole. Well, they had, they made a game like that. And you basically, your Halo guys have fucking golf balls. And they slam it. And they try to get the golf balls into the hole. It's hilarious. I'll have to upload a f video footage of it or something. I'll have to go on Action Stack. And maybe we'll do some Action Stack off tonight. Because, you know, it's streaming night. In 7pm. And it is April Fool's. And no, I decided not to do an April Fool's joke. Just because I'm uncreative and unimaginative and... Uh, College is literally sucking every pore of creativity out of my brain because I have to pour into these fucking essays and all this shit trying to get a good grade. Ugh. But, you know, college is still worth it. And, kids, if you don't think college is worth it, whatever. High, after high school, everything gets fucking better. Everything. Every fucking thing about school gets better once you leave high school. High school is the worst years of your life. If you don't think so, you're crazy, man, because high school fucking sucks. It really does. I mean, maybe it doesn't suck for you if that's the highlight of your life, but honestly, it's, it's, it's a shithole. It really is. I mean, some people enjoyed their first two years or one year or any year in particular, but I've never really met someone who's enjoyed high school in its entirety. So I, I don't know. I think it's a really dumb period of life. I think... Uh, Forcing all those people to be together is one of the problems. The lack of freedom from teachers is another thing. And, you know, it's, it's just... It's just a, the public school system is so fucking broken everywhere. And especially here in New Mexico. That's why we're 49th in the whole fucking country. But, you know... We don't want to change anything. Social promotion. Ugh. But that's a that's a TGTA topic. 
Also uploaded some water right video on there too. Um, actually, about an hour ago. So, <laughs> sorry. So you might want to check that out. And uh, yeah. So that's basically all I have for this week. But before I go, I want to shout out my good friend from the stream, Alien Maggie. And I pronounced your name wrong on purpose, asshole. So he's a guy with the Russian accent that we all make fun of. And he makes fun of us back. And he's a hardcore PC gamer. Maybe he'll start up a channel. He'll actually start up his channel one day. But as of right now, it's just, you know, a bullshit channel with nothing on it. Um, Yeah. But he's a cool guy. And uh, I hope I see him on the stream tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow. Actually, today. Because it's 5 o'clock in the morning. Even though it feels like... Uh, what a normal person's 11 o'clock at night to me. But, you know, whatever. Same up. One thing I never got about Hastings is why these are hanging on every CD shelf. They don't play any music. They're just here. And you can't plug them into anything. Oh well. <laughs>